So um, the Breathe In, Breathe Out song was talking about the monastery. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, breathe out, do the monastery. Go on, work it out or whatever. So we was looking at it like, dude, you never came to the monastery before. You know what I'm saying? You don't be at the monastery. We be at the monastery every week. You know what I'm saying? That's our club. You know what I'm saying? This is how chaos was looking. I wasn't looking. I didn't give a fuck. But chaos was like, dude, this is my club. This We beat her every motherfucking week. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting ready to uh, play this nigga song in the monastery. So chaos wouldn't play the song in the monastery. And he broke the record in half. Threw the pieces out to all the crowd. The crowd grabbed the record. Stopped on the damn record. You know what I mean? And Ali never found out about that shit. They found out about it. And we, we got into it with they ass in uh, North Carolina. On while we was on tour. I'm gonna get to some stuff about that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um before we get into all that, just um just speak on the monastery. Um uh, there's the dance, the mono. Um Nino Pop. Mm-hmm. Um, similar thing. Same right. Same thing, basically different name, different swing to it. Right. Was that what you sang when y'all did the um uh, that Hell of Thrill shit album? That was uh, that was, that when was we did the Hell of Thrill shit album, we wasn't signed. Yes. But uh, that album got us signed though, yes, yes. from us selling so many units of it. And then the, the MCA records came down and saw how people was reacting to our songs in the club, and they was like, "What we got to do to get y'all?" It was a bidding war of us. It was a bit every label wanted us, and we chose to go with MCA out of about twenty labels. We just chose to go with them. Yeah. Now, when it comes to like um, the the mono, the dance, like from your standpoint. Where did this dance originate from? You got the debate. Is the chicken head coming from what? This Memphis or um, the Atlanta thing? Like, where well, did you say it came from? Um, I mean, I know exactly how the, how the dance came about. The dance was created and born in the monastery. All right? Um, the Club Mono, most famous club in St. Louis at that time, one of probably most, the probably most famous club in the, in the country. You know what I'm saying? One of the most famous popping clubs in the country. The Monastery and the Pink Slip. People would come here and they want to see them two clubs, right? It was some gay dudes that used to come there and do this dance, this little chicken dance, right? Every week, these gay dudes and these, these um, what you call them? I want to use the politically correct term. Was it the trans women? Yeah, that's okay. They would come and they would be over in the corner and everybody would be watching them do this dance. It was a song called Back, Back, Gimme 50 Feet by a dude named yeah. Lil O. Mm -hmm. I don't know used to go back, 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 back. Gimme 50 feet. And they used to back do it, but they was bagging back when they was doing it. That's how they first started doing it. They would go back, 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 but they'd be bagging up while they doing it. It was called the Back, Back. After that, a Project Pack came out with a song called Chicken Head. Chicken, chicken, chicken head. Mm -hmm. They started doing it off of that, right? And it, used to, it went right with that song. I'm talking about right with it. So me and Chaos watching these gay dudes over here making in, making this dance up. The girls start doing it with them. Next thing you know, the whole club, just the gay dudes and the girls. The dudes wouldn't do it because they saw they knew some gay dudes made it up. So the dudes would never do it. They like, ah, right, look, that's a tight little dance, but we ain't doing that mother. You know what I'm saying? But it was just the gay. So now the whole club, just the gay dudes and the girls would do the dance. You know what I'm saying? Me and Chaos saw that and was like, man, we gotta make a song for this dance. You know what I'm saying? We got to make a song for this dance. So, Chaos was like, I'm going to start playing everybody in the club up all the time, and that's going to be the song for the dance. He started playing everybody in the club up, and everybody started doing it off of everybody in the club up, right? And he said, forget it. We got a St. Louis dance song to do the dance off of, so fuck the rest of the songs. Ali came out with Breathe In, Breathe Out. The, the label came to us and was like, man, y'all need to shoot a video or something, man, for this. That's how we got the video for everybody in the club. Yeah, up. Shot, shot that on Sherry. You shot that on my block, on Sherry. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how we got that video. So, damn, I lost my damn train of thought. You were speaking about, um, basically, the last thing you said was shooting a video to kind of highlight the monastery. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, so... That's the reason we went we had we went on and jumped the gun and shot that video. But Chaos was like, fuck that man, we need to make a song specifically for this dance. So no matter who make a song, no matter who make a song, they'll always equate this shit with us. They'll always equate this dance dance with us. So that's how Nina how we made Nina Pop. Saying we went, we went in the studio, we made Nina Pop to make sure. Cause Nina means nine. 
Nine is the whole nine. That's the name of our group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nina means nine. So it's the nine pop. The whole nine pop. So, you know, Chaos wanted to make sure, no matter what happened, that dance will always be equated to us because we the originators of this shit and we saw everybody trying to, you know, do shit to kind of make it their own and that was cool, but we wanted to make sure that that that, that was done and when and it worked. It worked. To this day when they play Nina Pop, they, that's they play it right now. If they it's, they say it's the song that never gets old. Nah, that's what they say. It's the song that never gets old. You go to any is, club this, right this. now, <sighs> they play that mug the cold they're gonna shut the whole club down. And all them songs from back then was global songs. But if you play that one, you can play those songs and play Nina Pop. People gonna be they gonna set their drinks down and run to the run to the damn uh, dance floor. Yeah, this this y'all so that bring back memories just when I was mm -hmm. a little kid, man. It's bring back a lot of memories. But I wanna say, man, I love all you rappers from St. Louis, the back then to now, man, I support y'all. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no diss, this ain't no shot. I ain't taking no shots at y'all. I'm just doing I just do I just feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Nelly got his claim to fame. You know what I'm saying? His claim to fame was selling 10 million records or whatever he say his claim to fame is. Chingy got his claim to fame. Selling 3 million records or being this person to do whatever you did, did, you know, to be the man who you are today. You know, this rapper may have what he feel like, he, his contribution to the game. Ain't nobody going to take my contribution to the he game away from me, history, bro. Man. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want nobody talking man. about, oh, this nigga trying to, you know, stun on us. Or, I really don't give a fuck, but I'm just saying, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a humble guy, you know what I mean, and I and I just want y'all to know that hey, it ain't nothing but love over here. It ain't nothing but love. I ain't, I don't want no smoke, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want no smoke with nobody, you know what I'm talking about. 